All right, guys, welcome to our podcast. It's called What You're Watching. Basically, we're just going to be talking about some of the shows we've been watching over this kind of second quarantine, I guess you could call it. I'm one of your hosts. My name's Hannah Scher. I'm the other co-host, Manisha Weatherly. And we are here with James Lapis. Ooh, I probably said that wrong. Joseph Landry, Andres Herrera, and Amari Rice. Jimmy, if you want to start us off. All right. So my show is Twilight. It is featuring Christine Stewart, Robert Pattinson, and Taylor Lautner. Um, This show is for free on the Amazon Prime app if you have it on your phone or on your TV. Um, The reason I picked this show is because it was like one of the favorite shows I was watching during this quarantine time. Um, I, I liked all the scenes. So here is a trailer of my show. I'm not scared of you. You really shouldn't have said that. So how do you guys like the trailer of uh, Twilight? Honest opinion of, of Twilight, like how do you guys like the scenes? I, I like Chris. Oh, you can go, Maisha. Um, I personally like Twilight. I feel like it's one of the, um, I say best worst movies. Like it's so bad, it's good. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think I. I've watched all the, like, the whole series more than I'd like to admit, but some of the acting, the acting most of the time is very good. Like, I can see where the plot was meant to be, but just some of the way they put the scenes together, it makes it a little cringy. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, um, I totally agree. Like, it's that basic, like, oh, she falls in love with the vampire, and then there's that love triangle with... Wolf yeah. like behind, they gotta fight for her and it's it's just funny like it's a oh, good yeah. movie <laughs> it's just some of the scenes catch me off guard when I rewatch it and I'm like I forgot this existed and it's so funny to me yeah I remember like everyone uh, a while back was like saying team Edward team Jacob That's, like that whole little culture around the movie it had a very big fandom that was okay. oh, that was a monstrosity of a time. Was a, a that I forgot that time existed. To be honest, wow. All right. Would you, you guys want to move on or? So, I guess the next show we got is Criminal Minds. Okay. Your capitalism rests on the back of third world countries. No one's hands are clean. No one is innocent. Those people tonight, they were innocent. They never hurt you. They hurt me by existing. Yes, the infidels shall fall at the hands of the righteous. And that is when the jihad will end. So you are ready to murder four billion people okay okay that was the cbs series criminal minds it had over 50, i mean it had 15 seasons over 300 episodes it started in 2005 and it ended in 2000 in 2020 so um so what do you guys think have has anyone watched it yeah i've watched it i've watched like the, yeah i've seen it too yeah i like it I like criminal it's a pretty good show. Mm-hmm. It looks cool. I love Criminal Minds. I haven't seen that episode yet because I know that's episode 10, the second season. But I'm only on episode three. So that felt like a bit of a spoiler. Mm-hmm. Oh. Who's your guys' favorite character? For Personally, those of you. My favorite characters. Oh. 
Okay, those are uh, Reed and JJ. What about you, Jimmy? Um, JJ and Derek for me. Wow. I personally Emily and Spencer Reed. I I know Emily's kind of the not the black sheet of the group, but I like her. She's she's got her moments. Yeah, I agree. She's kinda underrated. I like her too. She's a very good detective in the show. I'll admit that. I kinda um, like oh, oh, I like kinda like uh Derek and Spencer. Like they kinda have Oh, wow. Like their duo, I like the dynamic duo. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What about you, Andreas? Who do you like? Yeah. So, um, I've seen this show, but I haven't seen it enough to like, you know, um, really connect with like the characters and all. So, you know, I can't really say that I have like a, um, a favorite. You know. Do you okay. think that scene Jimmy showed would? like persuade you to watch the movie not movie show apologies um i mean yeah i mean it's um pretty um uh enticing like it gets your your attention and like like i remember that when i used to see it um the acting was like you know really good and like the stories all were also really good like it um kept me hooked and it like wanted me to like watch more so i think that's good mm, i agree mm-hmm. all right all right, so next we got Death Note. Do you want to play the video first? Sin. Crime. It's time for a change. I have the power to make the world, to make people better, and I'm not afraid to use it. I'm not afraid to kill. How and when it happens is entirely in my hands. All I need is a name, a face, a pen, and this notebook. Okay. All right, so this show is called Death Note. It's an original manga. It's a Japanese story and show, which is called anime. I'm sure you guys know that. The original release date was actually in 2005. So over 16 years, well, almost 16 years ago in October. And it's basically about this kid. He's very smart. At the top picture, you, you can see the main character. His name is Light Yagami. He finds this notebook, and if you write the name, and if you write the name of someone, they will die 40 seconds later, as long as you have their face pictured in your mind. And as contrary to kind of your guys' shows, it's a little more darker. As well, Criminal Minds is still dark, but. He's basically believing he's the god of the new world. And I, I just love this show. It's one of the very first animes that I watched because I've been getting into anime more recently. And I feel like that was just a good way to get into that side of television and, well, not television, and just a new hobby for me. Have you guys seen this show or heard about it? Different animes? I heard about it, but I... I- yeah, yeah, I've heard of too. it too. I've heard about it, but yeah, I I've heard about yeah. it, but I haven't really watched it. Yeah, see, I watched like, it last year. Yeah, like out of all the anime I've watched since I've watched a lot, I I've been trying to um get into Death Note because I really like darker stories. And I know, like from what I've seen, this one has like a really dark tone to it, and it's not as long as others. But like, I really, from what I've seen, it looks really good. Yeah, there's only 37 episodes. It's only one season. I know there's also a movie about it. And in my personal opinion, because I've watched both, the movie is so bad compared to this anime. Like, just stick with the original. But in case you guys did want to watch it later on, I know it's on Crunchyroll, Funimation. Those are more anime websites, but you can find it on Netflix, Hulu. I believe it's on Amazon Prime. Basically anywhere it's like a very popular anime kind of like a basic one that can just get you into it they still making death note or no no this is actually the one and done season there were rumors about the second season 
but sadly a few years ago i believe the creator of it passed away so they just wanted to leave it how it was all right so our next show is gravity falls before we find our first clue. Take a trip. Now who wants to put on some blindfolds and get into my car? Yay! Wait, what? To Gravity Falls. Ah! A brand new series. Ah, oh, dude! Don't lose your cameras. Wait, lose the cameras? Don't! Dude, I just threw two away. <laughs> I'm always noticing weird stuff in this town. Coming this summer to Disney Channel. Okay. All right, so this is Gravity Falls. It's like definitely one of my favorite animated TV shows of all time. Um, I was like, I remember the first day it came on, I waited for it to come on. And ever since then, I kind of like grew up with it. And like, yeah, I, it's definitely like different from most uh, Disney TV shows. It's even got like a few darker or more like scarier tones in it but like i feel like the like the world building the characters everything in the show it fits together so well and like even since it ended like people are still talking about it and i feel like it's definitely one of my favorites have you guys seen it or yeah yeah i've seen um, it yeah i'm um, totally yeah. agree on everything i've watched yeah. Yeah. Probably to everyone, it's probably like one of the most like, like, like you know, the best of all time TV shows on Disney. Yeah, yeah. It it's like a classic show. Yeah. When did um, it? End? I'm trying to remember. Like 2016. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty 2016. sure. Yeah. yeah, I know. Like five years later, people are still coming up with conspiracy theories about like what, like, what's his name, the Triangle Guy, Bill, right? Yeah, yeah. Bill what Cipher. Hit, yeah. I, Yep, what he was like actually trying to do, and then in the, like I love the later season. It got so into depth with conspiracy theories and just like the darkness of the show. I feel like it was really underrated. Yeah, that's what I was saying. For sure, yeah. So, Omari, who's your favorite character in Gravity Falls? Um, I know it's kind of basic, but I, I really like Dipper because. Uh, He's kind of like this guy that's just like kind of awkward but then he like he kind of like grows up into like somebody who you really wouldn't expect him to become i think it's really like cool because like i remember one of the first episodes he was just all shy trying to talk to wendy like later on like, becomes this super awesome like hero that saves the world so it's kind of cool okay uh, what about mm. you guys? What's your favorite characters? I like Uncle Stan. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah, I like him yeah, too. Yeah. He's like really funny. Yeah. yeah. I like Wendy and Mabel. Yeah, Mabel's cool. Yeah. Alright, next we got SpongeBob. That was SpongeBob. It was uh, made in 1999 by Steven Hillingberg, who uh, recently passed away a couple years ago. But yeah, SpongeBob was just one of those shows I've always grew up watch watching. I think everyone. Grew up you guys. Watching. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it's a show everyone has yeah, to watch. Yeah, for sure. At some point, everyone has heard of a uh, SpongeBob. Pretty sure, like a um, 99% of the entire U.S. population exactly. knows who, who SpongeBob is. Yeah, like really. it's just like a household name. I feel like yeah, even like kids now and those that don't necessarily grow up on it, they still know about it too. Yeah, 
Okay, I, like even with like if you haven't watched it, you could at least like see the memes about it. Like everyone yeah. just knows what it is. Oh yeah, the memes they're like yeah. everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what are you guys' favorite character? Mine's Patrick. Yep, Patrick for sure. <laughs> Because he's, Patrick. like, so stupid sometimes that it's funny. I know. That's why he's like me. <laughs> mm. I really like, uh, Gary. I don't know. Gary's just kind of funny to me, too. Yeah, he's, like, super chill. But I feel like yeah. uh, Squidward is, like, the most, um, relatable, relatable. out of all the yeah. characters. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Patrick's man. really funny, so... I love Squidward. As mean as he's supposed to be, like, he's just got his moments where you're like, oh, I've done that. Uh, it's a really good show. I like it. Um, next, we got Adventure Time. Be space princess. Righteous. something fun like oh, oh yeah i'm having a fun time oh my gosh <laughs> 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 adventure time Alrighty, so um that right there was adventure time um in my opinion one of um, um cartoon network's classics in um uh, animation um it's it stars uh two um uh, main characters uh finn and uh, jake and they're pretty much just like you know going like on adventures and all with like um magical beings and like enemies and all but uh, i feel like one of the main reasons why the show was like so um successful was like um the lore behind it because it goes like so deep and at times it's like um really dark too so like it's like appropriate for like all ages or not appropriate like enticing to all ages because like there's a little bit for everybody so yeah. and then also like it being like a classic you know like i remember um like in the first um couple of scenes is when it came out on um cn i remember like um coming home like a uh, summer evening and like you know just turning on um the adventure time and just like watching it so it's like a classic for me for sure so who, so who's your favorite character on uh, Adventure Time, Andres? Um, well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I think they're all pretty funny. <laughs> but um, if I had to choose one, uh, it'd have to be the Ice King. Like for me, like he's just like a so like a very um, um dynamic uh character per se, because like his backstory is like super dark. But, like he's really funny at the same time. But then at the same time, he can be like uh, super like uh, serious and everything. So um, yeah, that's what I think. But um, what do you guys think? What's your favorite character? Uh, I like Gunter and Bimo. Oh no, yeah, Gunter is really, really funny sometimes. Yeah, always loved Gunter. I like Lumpy Space Princess. Yeah, I gotta yeah, go with She's Jake. like pretty cool sometimes. Oh, sorry, go yeah. ahead. Oh, I said I, I, my favorite is Jake the dog. I'm sorry. I think yeah, it's like really cool too. And Marceline. Oh no, yeah, Marceline's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of always liked uh, Bimo. I agree with Joe. And uh, yeah, Marceline, she's really cool. I like her dynamic with Princess Bubblegum, and it just leads to the ending, which is awesome. Oh no, yeah, the ending. Oh my god, it was like so good. Like, it was so sad, but it was so good at the same time. Yes. Adventure yeah. Time is definitely one of the best, too. It's up there. For sure. For sure. Do you still watch the show, Andres? Oh. I mean, I already watched the whole show, like, four times. <laughs> Probably, like, um, back to back. But uh, I sometimes, you know, watch, like, some episodes. Like, if an episode comes to mind, I'll be like, oh, it'd be cool if I watched them. So, yeah. But um, uh, do you guys watch it or uh, have you guys watched it? Yeah. Yeah. Recently, yeah. Yeah. I've watched yeah, it. Definitely. I don't know about you guys. 
but I feel like my personal favorite episodes are like the gender swap ones. I don't know. I just feel like it's really cool. Yeah, with the uh, Fiona and the cake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was pretty cool, I guess, you know, I gotta agree. I thought there was, like, a whole different series. I didn't know it was just, like, a few episodes. No, yeah, it was, like, four episodes, like, in total, where they swap, like, the genders of the characters. And I think it was interesting, because, like, it's, like, the main characters, but, like, you know, like, a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I honestly wanted to see more, like, a whole season of just that. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be cool. They should do like a um, uh, spin-off from that because they did um, a thing where like um, it's called Adventure Time, uh, uh, Distant, Distant Lands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, they feature like some stories of uh, like uh, Marceline and uh, you know, Finn and Jake and um, Bemo too. That was like the first one that they came out with. So yeah, it was like yeah. really good as, as well. You guys, guess what I just noticed? What? The, I- and Spongebob have the same voice actor Tom Kenny yes they oh, just yeah. yeah they do yeah. Oh, I, I remember he voice acts a lot of people yeah oh yeah he's a huge voice actor among kids shows I remember let me find it Even, I mean he does the voice for Gary too <laughs> and a lot of more like not underground kid shows just not as popularly known like Adventure Time and Spongebob are. Mm-hmm. I know that the voice of Jake is also the voice of Bender from Futurama. Oh, is it? Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys for listening to What You're Watching. Once again, I'm one of the hosts, Marisha Weatherly. And I'm Hannah Cher, the other host. Uh, thank you. Thank you for Amari, Jimmy, Andy, and Joseph. Joe. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.